morning, it's uh, Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets for Monday's trading session, the 21st of November 2016. Please be sure to visit CFDs.com for your trading needs. Also visit Trade Signaler, signals and market updates from leading providers at www.tradesignaler.com. You can download the app at Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, in terms of uh, market numbers, the Asian markets overnight, certainly very stellar. Uh, certainly pushed higher out higher overnight we had the uh, the french or should we say the uh, nikkei up by 138 points you have the uh, shanghai up by 0.8 percent so certainly a very bullish bias today in the asian session in terms of european markets you have the uh, the french markets certainly under pressure due to the political uncertainty in france we had uh, mr philon uh, certainly um oost mr sarkozy uh, overnight so we've certainly seen a uh, risk off move this morning although we have recovered now uh, potentially on the back of this uh, Buber monthly report from Germany citing potential uh, economic growth ahead although it does argue for uh, the lack of QE or no more uh, QE going forward so uh, again a potential counter argument for a move lower now there are a lot of currents in this market at present okay you had the uh, stellar session in Asia out overnight uh, again that was negated by the political uncertainty in France with uh, the two potential opponents now uh, going head to head with Marine Le Pen, uh, who again is a fanatic and extremist, just like Mr. Farage and Mr. Trump, but they certainly seem to be winning. Okay, so given the rise of uh, racism, xenophobia, intolerance, lack of respect, just general courtesy, common sense, and manners, uh, certainly seem to be in the decline due to this so called uh, fear. Okay, this fear politics uh, again certainly isn't good. It reminds you of Mr. Hitler. And then Miss Mussolini and Mao and Stalin. So again, it certainly seems to be extremism is on the rise on both sides, in the East and the West. And it's a shame, really, because um, one should stand against extreme extremism. And hopefully it will, OK? Hopefully it will. Given the fact that Mr. Trump and Mr. Farage are now in, uh, well, certainly not Mr. Farage, but certainly the extremists uh, certainly seem to be gaining. Uh, again, once their um, actions unfold, people will certainly uh, reverse course very, very quickly. OK, so again, our job really as traders, although we do have an opinion uh, and we're always vulnerable to, to holding on to our opinions and our beliefs and so on and so forth, is try to remain as impartial as possible. Again, we're humans. OK, we have emotions, we have thoughts, etc. And each day we're different. So uh, again, we can read an article and be swayed either side. So uh, this is why uh, from, uh, from a robotic sense or a monotonous sense, uh, and a cold-hearted sense that robots or these algorithms certainly are seem to be uh, succeeding because their job is not to have an opinion it's just to trade exactly what you see and that's what we're trying to do okay and that's what i'm trying to do from an intermarket analysis approach again on the live analysis service we have different opinions you have to respect each other's opinion but you certainly put forward yours okay and adhere to your own trading strategy uh, stop losses are in place to protect you okay uh, and protect your um, capital and you continue to trade. If your stop loss is hit, you learn from that trade and you obviously improve and not and attempt not to make that mistake again. OK, so uh, in terms of um, the uh, bias in Europe at the moment, certainly looking very healthy, uh, given the fact that, like I said, political uh, chaos uh, in, in France. Uh, and obviously we have this Italian referendum in the background as well. Not only that, we have Mr. Draghi later on as uh, at two. And the question is, will he certainly allude to further QE? No, he won't. OK, we have the Euro USD at the moment, certainly into support, something I was discussing in the live analysis service group on WhatsApp, that the Euro dollar certainly is into support. And therefore, technically, it's already confirming that Mr. Draghi is going to be hawkish. And as we all know, a hawkish stance is generally considered to be negative for the equity market. And that's exactly what will ensue. So you can see here on the weekly chart, if I can show you and demonstrate the weekly chart certainly is into support. OK, looking to potentially bounce here on the euro dollar, OK, on the weekly chart. Daily chart certainly is in support as well, as you can see here. You have horizontal support certainly holding very well at 1.0570. And now you're looking to uh, potentially rally. Now, in terms of the rally, you have two areas that where the euro certainly could certainly bounce here, OK, especially given the fact that you have the dollar, the euro, uh, well, the US dollar at present certainly is into resistance. So bear that in mind if I bring up the actual US dollar chart for you. Here we go. OK, so if I bring up a weekly chart on the dollar index, you'll see the dollar index certainly is into double top. Double top in the dollar index obviously is considered to be uh, to be actually uh, weaker. Well, weaker dollar certainly does help the uh, the commodities to a large extent. OK, but you are looking at the euro, Aussie, Kiwi certainly gaining versus the dollar. 
and the euro dollar obviously moving higher as well with the US dollar moving lower. Also, you have USDJPY potentially topping out as well. If you go to the weekly chart, USDJPY, you're into that key resistance zone. Daily chart, USDJPY as well, you're into horizontal resistance. With USDJPY topping out, that generally does indicate a potential top in S&P 500 as well. If you see the USDJPY chart and the S&P 500 chart, you'll see that it's almost 100% correlation and therefore looking to potentially move low. Okay, so these are all factors that we're considering here. Euro dollar potentially moving higher, USDJPY moving lower. And that certainly doesn't spell anything healthy for the equity markets. Okay, folks. Uh, other than that, in terms of economic data today, you have obviously French political uncertainty and uh, Mr. Draghi obviously hawkish. Um, nothing else, okay? No other real economic reports that are going to sway this market either way. So let's look at the actual uh, technical picture now on the indices. Let's bring up the indices. Okay, okay. Let's bring up the uh, the actual uh, European indices. Bear with me. Let me just bring up a template for European indices. Okay, let's have a look here. Got the German DAX first. Okay, here we go. German DAX. Okay, so German DAX is a 60 minute chart, remains HS formation, remains bias, remains bearish. We're still making a lower high. Um, no real bullish price action here from my perspective. Daily chart remains bearish. Obviously, we're holding that resistance. It's an inside bar of this red candle. Bears are in firm control here. There's no bulls at all. Okay, 10 minute chart, you're into horizontal resistance looking for reversal. Yes, we did bounce pr pretty impressively from Pivot S2. And double bottom support at 10,600. So certainly, a lot of the bullish news, if there was any, certainly is priced into this market at present. Okay, folks. Right. In terms of the uh, French CAC, again, the French CAC, I'm extremely bearish on, given the fact that you have political uncertainty back home. Okay, you have three potential opponents. One's a fanatic and extremist, and one's a potential pushover who's 70 odd years old. I'm not sure what he's going to accomplish, just like Bernie Sanders was. Okay, and you have Mr. Philon now, who basically was a was a potential outsider two, two weeks back, and he certainly has ousted uh, Mr. Sarkozy. So again, it certainly has thrown everything into disarray from my perspective, okay? Uh, what are potential investors going to uh, wanting to expect from this Mr. Philan? Nobody really knows much about him, okay? So again, um, in terms of expertise and his experience co compared to Mr. Juppé, is certainly weaker, but it's the unknown, okay? You go, you're delving into the... Uh, the area of the unknown and obviously unknowns are negative for the stock market so a uh, french cac here nothing bullish folks looking at a lower high certainly looking at a lower high each time now just basically waiting for a lower low we're looking for this uh, resistor support at 4480 to crack once that 4480 cracks you're looking at 4440 pivot s3 at 4430 uh, and then uh, from a uh, technical position you have an unfilled gap at 4330 so certainly don't discount a, a potential uh, 100 200 point drop on the uh, on the French CAC certainly is possible, okay, especially given the election uncertainty and given the fact that US markets are certainly topping out as well, okay. FTSE 100, uh, let's bring up the FTSE 100 chart, daily chart. The FTSE was still within that bearish candle, we just, we just can't break it. I mean, it's um, certainly impressive the fact that this has held very well. You can see here we've been consolidating this red candle. Generally, if you get consolidation like that, the next potential move is generally considered to be lower, folks, okay? The longer we consolidate, the bearish it is, and we've been consolidating one, two, three, four, five, six. Six days we've been consolidating with US markets potentially, with the Russell making new highs, the Nasdaq pushing higher, so certainly divorce from US markets, and that's definitely not a good sign, especially if US markets now start to flush. What do you think will happen to the FTSE? It'll flush even harder, okay? So again, Certainly something to consider. Although the US dollar double top certainly is helping to a large extent, that may well be a factor. Obviously, oil prices is a factor. So certainly a lot of factors here to consider, and we'll see exactly how this market unfolds. Okay, so moving to these smaller time frames now, looking at a 60-minute chart again. Uh, again, we've, we did attempt to break higher, but we failed and put in a topping tail. Uh, look at this move here for 6820 and we've rejected 6820 very quickly okay back at 6800 now looking at the 10 minute chart on the FTSE at the moment again horizontal resistance rejected okay um, took out the fib levels as well so again you have support down here at 6 uh, 6800 Well, it's certainly interesting how it rejected the uh, potential um, 6820, okay, folks? So certainly not a good sign, okay? Not a good sign for the FTSE. So watch out, 6820, key resistance on the FTSE 100. Okay, folks, moving over to the Euro stocks now, quickly. 
Okay, euro stocks again, lower high here, nothing overtly bullish. Okay, daily chart as well inside bar, looking for a move lower. I mean, again, relying or not relying, but focusing on lack of QE from Draghi, French political uncertainty, two fundamental arguments for a move lower. On that note, please be sure to visit cfds.com for your trading needs and take advantage of the bonus. Goodbye.